So in today's lesson, I want us to look at, we'll be looking at each topic as we move along. But today, I want us to look, go straight to algebra and see how do we master algebra. If you can master algebra, you are likely to pass your mathematics paper. Remember, this algebra will need a background from as early as grade 8. How, how do we look at algebra? It is divided into sub-subtopics. I, I said there are about seven subtopics that I want us to look at. So do we want us, I want us to look at algebra in these lessons. Remember we said it carries about 25 marks in the exams, plus or minus 25. How do I get hold of these 25 marks? Maybe we can divide it into seven subtopics, the algebra. On its own, if, if, if you go into a mathematics paper, each topic has got its subtopics. It is important that you, you practice all these subtopics. The first one on algebra will be testing whether you can factorize. Factorization is the key, and it pops in every topic in your mathematics. So if you master your algebra, your, your factorization, the better you become in mathematics. Uh, factorization. Factorization. Look at factorization number two. We'll check whether you know how to apply the quadratic formula. Remember, if you can't, if, if the problem as well, away from factors, you don't have factors there, you need to use the quadratic formula. Remember, you need the skill of factorization. You don't just use a quadratic formula in everything. Not unless this question specifies that to write this correct to two decimal places. That becomes your keyword. You'll know that you need to use the quadratic formula. Remember this topic algebra is always question one in your examinations. Number three, uh, after quadratic formula, you've got to be able to do the inequalities. After inequalities, uh, you've got to do your simultaneous equations. After simultaneous equations, of course, you must be able to, to do exponents and sides. After exponents and sub, the sixth one will be your nature of roots. We'll be touching on all these subtopics today. Nature of roots. And the last topic that usually we throw it into the exam, it's called problem solving. Problem solving. Others, they call this non-routine problems. These are just problems that you just throw in into your exam paper that is testing your problem solving skills. Thank you.